Hello everyone! I know that maybe you are surprised why she's talking about real estate. It's totally not the right time to talk about it. And I will tell you that I wasn't having intention to talk about real estate really, but we start processing our business WhatsApp um, messages and the phone is here, by the way, you can always write, my assistant's already working. And um, we find out that there is so many people interested actually in this uh, topic, so I decide to dedicate one video about that. I know that always in the countries where is war, you can have something like double or nothing. Always business in war countries, it's something with a super high profit or with nothing again. So I guess that many guys, they exactly start thinking, oh, okay, now Ukraine got war. For sure, real estate totally doesn't have any value because you have very big chance that your apartment will be bombed at all. So for sure, the prices fall down and this is the best time to buy and and bid that uh, afterward the prices will increase so much. But um, I don't know this is for better or for worse. Our government somehow predicted that such things can happen. And from the first day of war, they closed totally governmental registrar. There is no option to buy or sell any kind of property. And this is made for a couple of reasons, because we already have such case in 2014 when Russia invaded Ukraine since the beginning on the East of Ukraine, there was a lot of notaries who was uh, corrupted. Uh, they was doing a lot of deals with no proper documents. Then you need to go to court and start proof something. And not always you can prove. There is a lot of scammers for sure and so on and so on. And our government nowadays to prevent any kind of scamming activities, any kind of this uh, waves in, of the prices in real estate market, they just close it and the real estate market nowadays does not exist. I'm sure that you may actually, if you're really, really interested, you may found somebody who can promise you that pay me money right now and I promise you that after war will finish, I will transfer the ownership of my apartment on your name. But I would think that this is something like 99.9% way to get scammed and I would not really recommend to have such deals. It's it's totally your 100% risk. You can maybe, maybe some people can find to do that, but I would consider that this is very risky. Nobody can guarantee what will be the prices and so on. Regarding renting of apartment, the rent of apartment is still there. So for example, I was renting apartment in Kiev and I'm still paying rent. Even uh, once the war started exactly the day before war, I paid the full amount upfront for the next month and I for sure didn't stay any of those days in uh, that apartment. And then for the next month, so actually for the March when I was already in Europe, but still I have my things in apartment, my owner was asking initially to pay full amount at all with the prices which we agreed before war and which was in our contract. But I told them that, you know, it uh, doesn't really seem fair while we are not staying there. There is bombs. There is no access to enter Kiev because on that time there was a Russian army surrounding all the city. And they agreed to, uh, to give me 50% discount for the months, which is uh, very dangerous because before war you was able to rent a one bedroom apartment in Kiev in some kind of good area in good condition about it will cost you about seven hundred dollar or six hundred dollar now you can say it's five hundred four hundred fifty dollars so it goes down but it didn't go so much down it didn't drop so much and I see there is so many websites where they are proposing and renting apartment from the owners directly without real estate agents and you can find that people keep renting and renting and renting apartments even during the war. Okay, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, write me your ideas about that. Do you think it's a good idea to buy real estate during the war time or better to wait and see how the market will change after? Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.